Hey everyone, this is Heidi with another knitting video tutorial. In this video, we're taking a look at how to knit a set of really cute ornaments, specifically this pear ornament and its matching partridge ornaments. You can make yourself a really cute set of ornaments that are a partridge and a pear to go in your Christmas tree. This ornament is really just a matter of juggling a bunch of double pointed needles like these, some little yarn. Um, the yarn I used for this sample is um, Lion Brand Bonbons, you know those packs of eight yarn that you can get at a big box store like Joann's or Michael's. It's a cotton yarn and it comes in a set of eight and two of those sets of eight are this really cute and perfectly colored for a pear ornament, green, and then this brown that makes a great stem too. So in addition to those bonbons, your DPNs, and a little bit of polyfill stuffing, you can make yourself an ornament real quick. So let's take a look at the construction on this guy. So what you do to make this ornament is you cast on six stitches at the very top of what's gonna become your pair. So if we look at this on the side, you'll see that we've got this little point to start. And then what you're gonna do is simply work in the round on just those six stitches to start. So this one is a little bit of a challenge to juggle if you're not comfortable with double pointed needles. But if you, if you like using the magic loop method or two long circular needles like you would for knitting socks, you can get creative with not having to deal with juggling tiny needles. Another tip is to look at the construction of this before you get started making a pair or the partridge because both ornaments in this set are constructed starting with this pear shape. So you can kind of envision this pear minus the stem but with some wings and a little face and you can see how it becomes a cute bird. Anyway, the um, construction that I wanted to touch on, so you'll start with your six stitches and then you'll work an increase in every stitch. So you'll go from six stitches to 12 and for the um, top longer tapering part of this pair, you'll alternate the rows in which you increase with rows where you just knit around. And um, one thing that I found useful to note when I was working on this sample was that increases are the same as working a KFB in case you didn't know that those are the same technique. And then once you've increased through two thirds of the body of your pair and you get to the right stitch count, you'll switch to decreasing on every round instead of every other. So that's how you end up with this slower taper at the top of your pair and a quicker taper at the bottom. Then you'll keep working in the round until you've got just a couple rows left. You'll put your stuffing in there before finishing off your piece, tightening it up by pulling your last few stitches with the tail. Then all I did was single crochet, or was chain crochet, a little stem for this guy to make him easy to hang. So this easy ornament, that's a really quick overview of how to do the construction on him. And you can easily whip out a bunch of these or a set of this with the matching partridge for gifts for this holiday season. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments and give us a like if you like this video and tune in again soon for even more tutorials.